Hello and welcome back. Let's play Pokemon Crystal with me, Voltage McEmmer. Today we're going to use Ember on this Gloom. In hopes that we'll defeat it in one or two shots. Sweet scent. Seriously, what is up with the enemy AI? No sense at all whatsoever. A Murkrow. I haven't fought one of those yet. I'll use my Quilava still. I think Ember is my strongest attack here. I'll stick with it. Hmm. Well, at this rate, I should win. What you gonna do, Murkrow? Burn! That's what. Quote the Murkrow. You're gonna die. So you'd, you'd say I'd be you. Losing. No, thank you. I never get that evil laugh. What's your own guy, the executive or... Nail. Oh, well. Can you turn it off with a hyper beam? Oh. Alright. Alright, he'll kill the electrode on that side, and I'll kill the electrode on this side. All three of them. Let's see. Yeah, I could use Quagsire. He could get the experience. But Golem can do it so much easier, because he has a ground attack. Yeah, normal and electric Pokemon are some of the luckiest Pokemon in this game. They only got one weakness each. When you pair them up with other class or types of Pokemon, though, then it gets a little bit tricky. Like, uh, for example, if you have a Ghost Dark type, it's basically immune to or resistant to everything, but. There's a way to work around it. You can use Foresight to make a fighting move hit it even though it's a ghost. Then technically it's still weak to fighting. I'm not sure if Foresight works that way in this game, though. Ah! My ears! I think I could catch one of these electrodes if I really wanted to. But I don't think I want to. I think I'd rather just destroy him. That would be a workaround for Lance's solution, though. Catching all three as opposed to fainting all three? I think I did that in the last time I played through this game. Ah, curse your sonic booms! Not bad experience from those. Hey, Lance, you just now finished? Hmm. HM6! In the previous game, there were only five HMs, but this one expanded it to seven. Whirlpool. Yeah, I'll keep on going. Why stop now? That Lance. Such a strong trainer. I bet he leads some elite organization or something. Anyway, I'm gonna heal up my Pokemon, and then I might try this gym. Think about this gym, this is the ice-type gym, but they're 
back then, there at least, there was no straight ice-type Pokemon. They were all like ice water, or ice psychic, or ice something. Most of them ice water. So basically, if you have an electric attack, it should be good against this gym. I'm still going to take this opportunity to level up Quilava a little bit, though. And if I leave the town, and come back, then the shop should return to normal. But it didn't. I want to buy stuff. Yeah, I guess they aren't going to let me buy stuff. Not for a couple of days, anyway. Alright, let's see here. How does this gym work again? Let's fight this guy. Slippery floors are fun! It's a snowboarder! Poor to Brad, you swim up! Uh, this is a new Pokemon to this era. It's a ground ice type. I don't think it knows any ground attacks yet, though. Not for a couple levels, anyway. Another swine up. No prop. I'll just torch it out. Endure. That's another new move. I hate this move. There are some pretty cool combos you can do with it, but... I don't know. It'd get kind of annoying. Stop doing that! You can't just spam it forever, though. It'll fail eventually. There we go. No more swine up. And I'm none the worse for wear. Now, I don't really see how serious you are because I just owned you. Parallel turn! Because it's a skier! The lady version of the border. What has she got? A dugong! Oh no! Some water type right there. Uh. My Alakazam can take it. <coughs> yeah, that's right. Growl at my Alakazam, who doesn't use physical attacks. Not in this version, anyway. Ah! Ice beamed! What was that thing special do again? I know it doesn't freeze. I think it reduces special defense or something. Yay! Level 31. Future Sight. I'm not a fan of Future Sight. It's a psychic attack, but it hits next turn. And you can't spam it to constantly bombard. I don't know. Let's fight this border. It'll try to freeze me, so I can't do a thing, but I'm using the fire type. I'll just melt your ice, bud. What? That's a water type! Ah! Headbutt! 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 Flinch. Oh. Oh, that's fine. We can just trade headbutts. Headbangers unite! Yeah! What? Heck with you, Seal! You're wasting my power points. Oh, well, he should sleep for two turns. means if I get the third swing, and I go before he does, he won't have a chance to rest again. Yes! Delicious experience points. A dugong. Yeah, I'll switch. Next time on Let's Play Pokemon Crystal with me, Voltage Begammer, 
I'm gonna punch another dugong in the gut. Or I'll do that right now. Later, trainers.